Hi guys, my name's Rick Shields down here at Trafford Golf Centre in Manchester and today we're going to be doing some testing of the Ping G30 irons. These are the new irons come out from Ping, obviously matched up with the uh, driver that's been quite kind of successful so far considering it's only just launched with the turbulator technology. Funny enough, they've not brought it in with the irons, that would have been a funny, a funny look with the, uh, the turbulators on top of the irons, but... They have changed them slightly to the old sets, so the old G25s. Um, so I want to give you guys the best advice about whether these clubs are going to help you perform better, whether they're going to make you a better golfer by the ease of hit, how far they're hitting them, giving you some information about the technology behind the golf club as well. Um, next video, I'm going to be comparing them against the G25, so I've got them there sitting waiting. So do check back out my channel, clicking the link just here to see if the G20s, 5s and the G30s is much of a difference. On paper, they should be. So let me tell you why I think that, because they've changed a few things in the G30. So they've, in, they've obviously, as every golf new model comes out, they have to tweak it, they have to change it. Is there much difference between, you know, the G25 and the G30? Because, they, I mean, they're, what, a year, a year difference? Not a great deal. But what they've done, they have changed, I would say, one of the biggest leaps forward for ping clubs and i'll tell you why so the tech the tech behind this they've done a couple of things different so what they've changed in the g30 didn't have in the g25 they've again dragged that center of gravity down and pulled it back towards the baseline so all the way back towards the furthest point of the club head yet they've not sacrificed the size of the golf club. In fact, they've made the bottom line a little bit slimmer. They've even reduced the offset on the head as well. So as much as they've dragged the center of gravity down and low and low and low, they've not had to make a really bulky sole of the golf club to allow that, which then visually doesn't look as attractive. So that's what they've done with regards to moving the center of gravity slightly. Now, what that's allowed them to do, because they've pulled it all the way back and low and low and low, it means they've been able to de-loft the golf club. So basically, if they, if they drag that club, that central gravity low and right down to the bottom, that's going to help the ball launch high. So then they thought, well, I'll tell you what then, to get more distance, we're going to make the lofts so a little bit less. Now, this normally isn't ping style. We've seen other manufacturers do that, de-loft the golf club to add distance. It's not generally ping style, but they have done that with these. Uh, but they've done a progressive loft um, decrease so with the long iron, so the 5 iron, I've got the 5, 7 and 9 iron. With the 5 iron, they've de-lofted it compared to the G25 by 2 degrees. It's quite a big chunk, almost half a golf club you would see. You know, 4 degrees between every golf club normally, they've moved it to. So this is now 24 degrees. They've moved the 7 iron just 1.5 degrees stronger. So this is now 30.5. So not not as much of a jump and then as we get down to the nine iron they've not changed the loft at all it's still 40 degrees so let's say they've they've de-lofted the lower set more than they have the higher set which makes sense you don't want to be hitting the nine iron 180 yards because that'd just be ridiculous some of you might want to to be fair but you don't really really want to cosmetically what they've just done with the head they've made it a slightly darker finish so it looks it looks a little bit more um I can't think of it, almost like a, not char, not black, but almost a little bit more charcoal -y compared to the, the G25. They've kept the cushion in the back, everything else. Right, anyway, let's talk in more hitting. So, I'm going to hit some shots with each club. I'm going to start off with the 7 first, just because it gives us a bit of a baseline. Um, now, in theory, with the less loft and the high launch, this should go further. It should. I've got this in steel stiff shaft, the, the normal steel, um, ping shaft, the CFS. Um, they changed the grip slightly, so it's not actually got a logo on the golf club anymore, which is slightly unique to ping, because ping always used to have that uh, kind of big logo and small logo along, logo along the back. This new grip's to fit in with their new G30 range driver, where you can twist the uh, neck and change the loft, etc. So they've, they've extended that same grip all the way through the range. I'm, I know you can customise them and change them. And, etc. Right, let's get in some shots. So I'm hitting some real golf balls down here on GC2. Um, I would normally say a 7-9 for me carries about 168, 170 uh, around that mark. So let's see how this travels. 
Now, ease of hit, you don't get much easier than that. That was really, really easy. The bottom of the golf club seemed to just glide through the surface because it's that little bit slimmer. It's almost got a little bit of a double bounce on the bottom of the golf club as well, which is going to suit multiples of, of uh, surfaces. Uh, 172 carry distance and 0 0.2 yards offline. It's pretty straight. So a little bit further. Ball speed 120, not bad for a 7. And it has got some height on that. It comes out low. Oh, that looks long. 175, a little bit further left, only five yards left. Um, but it's got that nice, big, chunky kind of level of forgiveness without actually looking big and chunky. So when you look down, it's not ridiculously... Oh, God, that's a bit, it's a bit big. Quite a slim top line. They've reduced that um, offset, like I say. So if you maybe, if you are a... A, ball, a golfer who may, maybe hits the golf ball further to the right for a right in the golfer, you might still want to go for a little bit more offset, but do test them. You know, I'm not saying there is still offset in there, it's just not as much. Let's go one more with the seven. Now, I think that wasn't as nice a hit. That was a little bit off the bottom groove, so it's going to be interesting how far that's gone. One, six, seven. So I've lost five yards, that's all. Still straight down the target, three yards offline. And I've just caught it off the bottom of the golf course. That just highlights its little bit of uh, kind of forgiveness, really, because it has got a bit of forgiveness in the golf club. Right, let's go five iron. So this one now is set at 24 degrees of loft, which is just starting to push into the realms of a, of a four iron, really, I'll be honest with you. So, but what they've managed to do is they've pulled the center of gravity down and low. As a confidence booster thing, let's say, how many of you out there hit three and four irons anymore? You might not do. You know, you might have swapped them for hybrids. The confidence that hitting a five iron instead of a four iron might do for you, might help you massively. So you might look down and go, well, this is a five iron. Really, it's getting closer to a four iron, but you don't need to think of that. You can still think it's a five. Right, five for me, about 190 normally. So let's see how far this goes. Whoa, that's got some height. That was unbelievably easy to hit. 203 yards. Just came out like a rocket. But it, it's up there. So, you know, easy, easy of hit. And this is what, you know, this is what the techie guys at Ping are saying is that they've, they've pulled that center of gravity down and back on purpose to help get the golf ball airborne. That's what they're saying. 203 yards and less than a yard offline. That was a gorgeous flight. Oh, wow. This is where, for me, I see these new golf clubs, these new G30s to really come into their own. Certainly on the long irons. 208. 208 yards of carry distance. But it, it's not it's not a flat ball flight. That's a high ball flight. That's a gorgeous ball flight. That's gonna land soft, only three yards off target. Let's go one more. Oh I hit that one a bit harder. 204. That's honestly that's really, really nice. I might even swap my five line for this. Because for forgiveness, you don't get much better than that. Oof, that's really nice. Right, anyway. Um, so, what I'm starting to see there is that in the middle range of the clubs, there might not be a great deal of difference to the, to the old set or a set that you're using at the moment. But you've got to try these in the long irons because that, that just felt just different class. Right, nine irons. So, I'm only doing this because I've got the golf club. It's 40 degrees. So there's not going to be any difference between this and the, and the old set, the G25, there really isn't. But I want to give it a bit of an idea anyway and just tell you kind of what kind of digits and numbers it's getting and how easy it is to hit really. Now, it might go a bit higher. Even though there's not changed a loft, that centre of gravity down and low and back might just help this golf ball go up in the air a little bit better. So I would say 99 for me is close to 150. Let's see what this is like. It 
it's got some height. It's a bit of a pull that. I didn't hit that one quite as good. It's bang on 150 on the nose, but I've honest, I've hit it 10 yards left, which wasn't as accurate as I'd like it to. Now whether that little bit of offset, that I'm not quite used to, might have just pulled that to the left slightly. So if you golf for the Mr. Green to the right, but to be fair, I didn't see that on the longer shots. So that might have just been an out and out pull. Let's hit another one. Oh, it's just turning a little bit left. Not a lot though. 145, not bad hit again. Let's go one more. Like I say, I don't think it's the it's the short irons that are gonna sell this golf club for for you guys, or it's gonna want it's gonna be that kind of oh yeah, I bought this because of the nine iron. You're gonna be buying it because of the big club, you're gonna be buying it because of the five and the seven iron. One more with the nine. Better. And it's just so straight and not, oh sorry, so high. <laughs> not straight after the first two, but so high. I mean, I'm only, okay, 0 0.1 yards offline. It's more like it. So, guys, what that's kind of saying to me there and this, this, my summary of the G30 irons here is that I think they've got a little bit better. I'm going to be testing it, like I say, head to head up against the G25 in a moment. So do check out my channel, check out the video here in the window. Um, but my little summary of these, of the club series that the tech that they've put behind it makes sense. Lower, further back means that they can deal off that golf club a little bit without sacrificing looks or performance. And that's something that I definitely see with this, this range of golf clubs, the G30 irons. I'm seeing a set that not sacrificing looks at all because the looks are just amazing for a forgiving iron. It's a big thing, you know, you can get some forgiving irons that look chunky. These don't, they do look slim. Um, it makes sense that the lofts have gone down because the central gravity has gone back and low. So you're going to get extra distance and still get the height. So guys, I've presented all the numbers up, up on screen for you anyway, so you can have a look through those. You can check me out on my channel by subscribing, the, by clicking the link down here, guys. And check out in the window here, my head-to-head -head between the G30 irons and the G25 irons. We'll see how, how much of a difference there is. Has, have they evolved that much? Or were the G25 still an awesome club? So guys, check out my window for that as well soon. We'll see you all soon, guys. And that was my little test and review of the new Ping G30 irons in the 5, 7 and 9. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all soon.